Good evening. We begin with breaking news. The U.S. Coast Guard rescuing several people stranded on the ice of Lake Erie near Edgewater Park. Andrew Horansky is there live with the latest. Drew, what do we know? Lena, good evening to you. This is exactly the kind of thing that people have been warned about. In fact, multiple communities even issued warnings today. But if you take a live look here at Edgewater Beach, you can see that not everyone is heeding them. Several people out there on the ice tonight at this hour, even children, kids with sleds we're seeing here. And of course, the concern today is that the slightly warmer weather weakening the ice, dramatically shifting its ability to support people. You can see the conditions on the lake are frozen, people still on the ice, but still there is a risk. And we saw the impact of that today with a very dramatic afternoon. Let's get to the video and show you what we saw. According to the Coast Guard, a call came in around 245 stating there were people on two big pieces of ice which had broken off from the land, 10 people total. We later learned they included seven adults and three children. We're told that five of them were on a piece that drifted about a half mile from shore. The others were on a piece that was closer to land and they were all stuck. Obviously a very dangerous situation with an ice rescue team dispatched from Cleveland, a helicopter from Detroit. Now, according to Cleveland EMS, the group told paramedics that the ice had already begun to crack while they were out there. They then stepped over a crack, kept walking, and when they kept returning, trying to find their way back, it had widened to about 50 feet. The Cleveland Fire Department assisting two. We spoke with a firefighter, a man who identified himself as an off-duty diver, and said that this is exactly the kind of situation that they train for. People got stranded because the ice blew out, and they had a... Uh a growing body of water that they would have had to have crossed to get back to shore. What we saw here today is that the Cleveland Fire Department has some of the best in the business and they did a fantastic job today and uh, everybody should be proud of what they do. And they should be. Now back live we can tell you that this is how the situation was resolved. We just found this out a short time ago. No injuries no hospitalizations. The group was embarrassed, we're told, and they refused any kind of evaluation or any kind of medical support. All of them back home now, Lena, obviously warming up after what could have been a very different outcome this afternoon. Live from Edgewater Beach, I'm Andrew Horansky. Now back to you.